Hello and welcome back to some more Gary's Mod. Now in today's video we're playing Death Gear. We were going to do some dark RP and see what's going on in the crazy land of multiplayer but that decided it was going to take too long to download so we're going to have to do something single player. Now we're left here in the dark woods. Spooky things are going on and we need to I presume get out of here. So what we are going to do is not go over to the spooky house. Oh, we can't leave. Shit. <laughs> God damn it. That's all you do. If your car sort of works, you just keep going down the road. Don't go to the spooky house. Find evidence of an assault. Ooh. Well, this lighting's an assault on my eyes. Is that evidence? No, I didn't think so. Why would you have radioactive barrels in your backyard? Can I just ask that? This isn't Fallout. Anyway, I've got a crowbar now. I really should have looked up what this mod was actually about. But anyway, is it like in the description if you want to try yourself? I'll give it a go. There's like three parts to this thing. So, yeah, it's probably worth you trying it yourself. I wonder what they'll do if like a police officer, which I presume I am, just comes into your house with a crowbar and starts like smashing things up like, yes, yes, yes. This is very interesting. I'm just causing tons of damage to your property and goods. But who cares, because I am an officer of the law. Wheelbarrow. Well, that's just rude. Don't you think? I was trying to help solve a murder, and you closed the bloody door on me. So, would you mind not shaking the screen? I mean, is there smoke in here? Oh god. Oh god. It was a trap. I should have known that. Going to a stranger's basement, there's no one around, and you get gassed in the basement. Ugh. Oh, it appears. Are we in the elevator? Well, that's a sudden change. Gassed in... Wait, 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 wait. So was I the victim? Was I the victim who went into a basement and got gassed? And now I'm trying to solve the murder. Oh, this is not a steady thing. This is, I'm not shaking the camera at all. This is not a steady elevator, my goodness gracious me. Well, after about five minutes, the elevator decided to stop shaking and I finally let me out. Hmm, oh, door got blocked up there. Yes, I will press this non-suspicious little button over here. I'm sure nothing will go horribly wrong. Can I go through now? No. Oh, now you open. How kind of you. So, find and activate three marked switches and escape via the marked exits. Okay. So, where is my target? Switch number one is... Switch number two is... Switch number three is... I mean, health kit's there. Flashlight, thank god. So we need to go, I presume, safe havens this way? That's a safe haven. That's a switch over there. I could probably go in there. So let's go this way. High voltage! Yes, please, I like high voltageness. So the water is electrified. It doesn't do that much damage. But I could technically just sprint for it if I was to say, do this. And fail the jump. <laughs> okay, I've made it. I could have screwed myself over quite horribly there. Can I, can I move the barrel? Can I even crouch jump on the barrel? No, I cannot. But I can walk along the edges here. Oh, apparently I can walk through them. That's great. Oh god. Eep. Ten health. <laughs> Ten health. So one thing literally has to stare at me and I'm dead. No, it's four, six... One and nine. Four, six, one, nine. So we now go with four, six, one, nine. Nice. So I've now got this. What do I even need this for? Do I need this for anything? No. Anyway, in case you're wondering how I worked out, it's basically you find out where the actual nought or cross goes, which will complete the circle. So like over here, you need to put a circle in this one, 
which on a old dialing pad would be number four, because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that would lead to number four being the one you want, so then you just do it for all the rest, and that's how I came to that conclusion. Quite a clever thing, but what do I do with this? This is the question. I mean, this opened up, I guess? Heads up. Oops. Well, that didn't go too well, now did it? Oh my god. Um. Um. Death count, boobs room, plus everything. Puzzle room, party room, dicks room, art room of memes. You get nothing, you loser. Okay. Well, this is certainly an interesting thing. Okay, so it's put me back here. Oh, great. Does that mean I have to run all the way back and try and find where I put that little puzzle piece? I really hope not. That's the high voltage room. This is... Oh, God. Well, that is just plain rude again. This place, honestly. Oh, look, there's like another thing over here. You feel your sanity decreasing. Um. What does it, what does it mean? Does it mean 4612? 4612? No? I, I don't understand what is going on in here. Um. Oh god. Um. 4612. 461. No, I want to clear. So it's. 4612. Oh god. Oh god, is this the end? Oh shit, I don't know what the clues are. 2016. So I just have to randomly guess these things. Let's go with 913. 913. Shit. Oh god. Oh god. Nope. Well, that's not good now, is it? Now we've got to go through the creepy Doctor Who tunnel again. But anyway, this was Death Gear. I'm out of time currently. But I might come back and do this some more if you so wish. It's in the description below if you want to try out this mod yourself. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye. <laughs>